President Trump has just responded to the House Judiciary Committee's vote this morning to send two articles of impeachment for consideration to the full House of Representatives. The president spoke moments ago to reporters at the White House. Let's take a listen. Your reaction to the vote in the House Judiciary this morning? Well, I was actually, believe it or not, finishing up the final, I was doing the final touches on the China deal. And that's going to be one of the great deals ever, and it, it's going to ultimately lead to the opening of China, which is something that is uh, incredible, because that's a whole big untapped market of 1.5 billion people. And so I was actually doing the finals, but I got to see enough of it, and certainly I spoke to my people. It's a witch hunt. It's a sham. It's a hoax. Uh, nothing was done wrong. Zero was done wrong. I think it's a horrible thing to be using the tool of impeachment, which is supposed to be used in an emergency, and it would seem many, many, many years apart, to be using this for a perfect phone call where the president of that country said there was no pressure whatsoever, didn't even know what we were talking about. Uh, it was perfect. The relationship is perfect. Uh, I've done much more for them than Obama did for them. It's a scam. It's something that shouldn't be allowed. And it's a very bad thing for our country. And you're trivializing impeachment. And I tell you what, someday there'll be a Democrat president and there'll be a Republican House. And I suspect they're going to remember it. Because when you do, when you use impeachment for absolutely nothing other than to try and get political gain. Now, with that being said, my poll numbers, as you know, have gone through the roof. Fundraising for the Republican Party has gone through the roof. We're setting records. We've never, nobody's ever seen anything like it because the people are disgusted. The people are absolutely disgusted. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. And I watched yesterday, I got to see quite a bit of it yesterday, and I watched these Democrats on the committee make fools out of themselves, absolute fools out of themselves. And I also saw them quoting all the time incorrectly. They kept saying, me. It wasn't about me, it was about us. The word was us. So they would kept saying, me. It said us. Can you do us a favor? Our country, comma, our country. Then it talked about seeing the Attorney General of the United States. For these people to say, me, they would say, me. You said, do me a favor. No, it didn't say that. It said, do us a favor, our country. Talking about the past election, talking about corruption. The other thing nobody remembers and nobody likes to talk about, and I talk about it all the time, is why isn't Germany, why isn't France, why aren't other European countries paying? Because we're paying, the suckers. You know, for years we've been the suckers. But we're not the suckers anymore. Big difference. But why isn't Germany paying big money? They're the ones, I mean, they have a much bigger benefit than we do because Ukraine is really a stoppage between Russia and parts of Europe, the major part of Europe. Why aren't European countries paying? Why isn't France paying a lot of money? Why is it always the United States? We're 7,000 miles away. Why is it always the suckers that pay? So we've changed that, but nobody brings that up. Uh, I think that the whole impeachment thing hoax, I guess you could call it, because it, it is a hoax. And Nancy Pelosi knows it. By the way, they duped her yesterday. She was on an interview, and she said, we've been working on this for two and a half years. So she's, she was working on it, in other words, two years before we ever spoke to Ukraine. She said, we've been working on impeachment for two and a half years. And the reporter was shocked when they got this answer, because it showed she's a liar. So it's, uh, it's a very sad thing for our country, but uh, it seems to be very good for me politically. And again, those people, because I watch some of the uh, dishonest fake media, uh, they're saying, well, the polls have remained the same. No, the polls have not remained the same. I think you understand that, John. The polls have gone through the roof for Trump because people, especially with independent voters, and especially in swing states, I could show you numbers that nobody has ever seen numbers like this before. So the impeachment is a hoax. It's a sham. It started a long time ago, probably before I came down the escalator with the future first lady. It started a long time ago. And when you look at the IG report and you look at these horrible FBI people, 
talking about we got to get them out, uh, insurance policies. You know, the insurance policy is just in case she loses, meaning crooked Hillary, who's crooked as a $3 bill. Just in case crooked Hillary loses, we've got an insurance policy. Well, we've been going through the insurance policy now for three years, and it's a disgrace. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Say it. I think they'll hit $50 billion in agriculture. No, much more than 50 because it's also manufacturing and other. But I think in agriculture, they will hit 50 Several billion. Several threads to pull together there from President Trump's remarks. First off the top, he was talking about a China trade deal, which is a significant accomplishment for the administration happening amid the impeachment drama. He also made references to polling data and talking to campaign officials. They believe this has been a net benefit for the president. Weijia Jiang is at the White House. Weijia, take it from there. Well, Major, this could not have been a better moment for that split screen time that President Trump is talking about. He needed something to focus on other than what just happened on Capitol Hill. That's why he is trying to talk about China, which, as you mentioned, is a victory for him. But as for the, the rest of what he said, it's much of the same, hitting home the same points that he has made since the launch of this inquiry. First, he continued to defend himself, saying he did nothing wrong and he was only acting on behalf of the country. Not not himself when he had those conversations with uh, the Ukrainian president. Number two, again, continuing to attack the process. We heard the same words, witch hunt, sham, hoax, um, that he believes is working when he's communicating to the American public, painting himself as a victim of a political witch hunt and of a partisan process that has left him scrambling to defend his presidency. I do think it's interesting, Major, that he said uh, that the Democrats were trivializing the impeachment process. I believe this is a new talking point. He's acknowledging that this is a critical tool for lawmakers, but again says that it is not appropriate in this case because he is innocent. And so there you heard it, the president saying once again, defending himself, that despite the monumental development in this inquiry, he is innocent. Weijia Jang on the North Lawn of the White House, thank you very much. Our impeachment coverage continues on our 24-hour streaming network. That's CBSN. You can watch it at cbsnews.com or on the CBS News app. There will be more to come on your local news on this CBS station and tonight, of course, on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell.